you have been asking us to share with you what the easiest patterns are in each of our books. And we are going to give you all of our secrets. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. And you have been asking us what the easiest pattern is in each of our books. So we've gone through the books, picked out some of the easiest ones to share with you, and we're going to tell you why we think they're easy. It's very exciting. We got lots of tips. So let's jump into our very first quilt pattern. Now this is Jacob's Ladder, and this is from the Modern Views book. And this one is super easy. We have just two different blocks and we put them together and create this great movement on the surface of the quilt. So we're gonna put this on the table, we're gonna get the cropping tool, and we're gonna see just how fantastically easy this is. So we have some great fabric too. Can't wait to share that with you. But first, what we wanna do is talk about the blocks and why we consider it to be one of the easiest from the Modern Views book. Absolutely. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to show you that this quilt is made with four platch blocks. As you can see, there is one there. Super simple. Super simple. The only thing that gets easier than a four patch is just a square. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, so we actually have two different versions of the four patch. This is one. And then if we scooch right down here, you can see that that's the other one. So we have the four patch made twice with two mm -hmm. different color ways. And then we alternate these blocks with a half square triangle, which is right here. Now this is a nice big half square triangle. Mm -hmm. So if you're just learning how to do half square triangles or a beginner quilter, this is a nice big one so that it's not too little and you can put them together really fast. It'd be great practice and it makes a beautiful quilt. And do you know, we have a video on how to make the half square triangles that you can check out if you haven't made them before. Oh, that's true. You know, they're so deceptively easy. They are, very. They, they really, really are, and they're a lot of fun. And once you start getting them up there and you're pressing them and you're looking at them, you think, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> that's so true. I don't know why I do that, but every time I do have square triangles, I'm like, oh, I just love these, they're so cute. Okay, <laughs> so this one is so simple because, as we said, it's just a four patch block and a half square triangle block. And of course, our pattern here in the Modern Views book steps through completely how to line those up and build your rows so you get that great movement, how the four patch is made, how the half square triangle ma is made, and it's just so super easy. Now, we've got some great fabric, so All right. let's check that out as well. So we have a beautiful focus fabric. Now, this is also a batik, very similar to our model. These blues and greens are gorgeous together. And what's really cool is I think of batiks as being kind of like laid back, kind of comfortable maybe, mm -hmm. you know, and this one definitely is, but it has that paisley on it, which gives it just that little bit of maybe formality. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's a good point. But very fun, very, very fun, great colors. Now this will be our focus fabric and it goes everywhere the pink batik is here. And we got a little there on the border. Now our number two fabric is this great kind of speckledy green. Does that not look fabulous it with that? It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. This green is gonna go everywhere this kind of blue-green batik is here. And that's gonna give you this great um, contrast and movement mm -hmm. on the surface of the quilt that I just love. It's gonna be stunning. It, yes. All right, then we have our number three fabric which, which picks up all the great blues in our batik. And it's just a little bit of a crosshatch there. It's gonna go everywhere you see the black on our quilt here. So it's just such yummy, yummy colors together. And to show you and help you see and visualize how great these colors go together, we have a beautiful image on the screen so that you can see how that's gonna make up. It is, ju I just, it's regal and yummy and just, ugh. I love it. Yes. It would go great in my house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're lovers of color. You know that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So the kit information on this one is 8023012. It is called Regency Batiks. It is the Jacob's Ladder pattern in the Modern Views book. And that is one of the easiest patterns in that book. Absolutely. 
Now the next one is porch rails and it is another super simple easy pattern to do with a square and a rail fence. Now how easy can that be? Let's put it on the table and talk about this one. And this particular pattern comes from the book pretty darn quick. And we have pieces and parts to share with you so oh, we can good. show you how this is made up. Now I'll let you have that okay. one. Now, the whole book is filled with great patterns, yeah. but we had to just pick one, so we picked the porch rails, and it's super, super easy to do. Now, this adorable fabric that we're going to use is, the, <laughs> isn't that cute? Yes. You know, this is, you know, oh. we have all of these little secrets in our past, too. Oh, yes. And one of which <laughs> is that when Fran was in her teens, we had goats and chickens. Mm -hmm. Oh, and geese. It was a learning experience to not do that as an adult. <laughs> We both are past that now. <laughs> we just like to quilt with them. <laughs> but uh, we never had pigs, we never had cows, but we had the other ones. And goats can be quite a challenge, yeah. can't they, friends? Yes, they can. <laughs> and, but this is darling. I really love oh, this I fabric. Love this. Yeah, and it's, it's just a nice light. I think we all have a little bit of that homestead in oh, us. Absolutely. And you have to do it at least yeah. once. Yeah, and that's right. <laughs> now, I still have chickens, but I relegated all the responsibility. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. Okay, so we're going to do a rail fence. And as you know, rail fence is just three strips of fabric sewn together. And you cut a unit, which then becomes a, your block. Get the block. And we do turn these. So you can turn, um, turn your blocks different ways as you go through. So see how this one and this one are going that way. And this one and this one are going the other way. And that will create this great look. Let's put this cropping tool around this so you can really focus on these. Isn't this great? I love it with the red and the black. It picks up like the little red of the chicken and the black. Uh -huh. It's so cute. And you know what I would like to know? I'd like to know how many of you have had experience with farm young an animals <laughs> even though you might be a city slicker like we are. <laughs> a little comment in there we'd love to hear it was fun it had its fun, fun moments. oh it, it really did, did. <laughs> and look at all the great stories oh my goodness yes <laughs> I just love this and that is going to be so fast with that strip piece and oh. that just single block that is super simple absolutely but this is adorable and you know our barn looked kind of like this too it was made out of like recycled wood oh yeah which now is inside people's houses mm -hmm. but then it was on our barn <laughs> <laughs> and this is our number one it'll go in each of these spots and then our number two is made with this great red and that. black don't you love that yes and you know we we're always saying you need to kind of like pick up colors from your other quilt I mean, from your other fabric. Mm -hmm. So the red is going to make this really pop. Yep. And look how it has this, a little bit of brown in it, along oh, with the black. I didn't so, even pick up on that. You're right. Well, the cool thing is that these subtleties in the fabric really are part mm -hmm. of what makes them so charming. Yes, and they go together so well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on this one, the kit is called Barn Buddies, and it's 8023151. Mm -hmm. Rails is the pattern and it's from the book pretty darn quick. Now our next super easy pattern is from the Easy Peasy book and it is Sweet Times. Now this is a great one because we've got a nice big block here that we can put in a really beautiful fabric or a really fun fabric like this one and we've just got these blocks bordered in alternate fabrics. Now this is super easy because it's actually made with a strip assembly so let me show you. Now I love this because of the strip assembly and how simple it is. And could we get the cropping tool and show Absolutely. them that to begin with? Mm -hmm. All there right. So what we have here is we have this big block and we are going to make a strip assembly. Turn this around, just, whoop, just like this. So basically we're gonna have one really big piece of fabric strip in the middle and then one smaller one on each side. That's the beginning building block of the block, I mm -hmm. guess. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna put a strip on this side and a strip on this side. Super simple. It's super, super simple. And of course, we'll do that again with our alternate color. Then we alternate the blocks and put them together and it just goes so fast. So, and of course, the Easy Peasy book has the pattern sweet times in it. It's gonna step through so that you can see perfectly simple, perfectly easy to follow directions. And don't forget, we always share with you the enlargement instructions as well. 
This one would be a fast one to enlarge if you want to do a twin or a king. And the other really great thing about the Easy Peasy book, there are eight patterns with no half square triangles, which is kind of a fun thing. Absolutely. So everything is just super simple. Now let's look at this fabric. This is awesome. Now, this fabric actually makes me think of my brother. Oh, because yeah. John, my brother, always has fish. Mm -hmm. And he's always got this great, beautiful fish tank in his home. And he started doing this when he was really young. We were teenagers. You were. And I remember sitting in his bedroom and admiring all of the beautifully colored fish. Mm -hmm. And that's what this reminds me of, because these are just gorgeously colored. They truly are. And this is a great scale of print for this large block on Sweet Times. So I just, I just love them. They're just so beautiful. Oh. Okay, so then our number two fabric is this blue. It, does this not look like bubbles? <laughs> it does. <laughs> it was, totally looks like bubbles. The, this fabric will go everywhere the green is here. And then our number three fabric, oh wow, isn't that not great? Picks up the black background, just like our focus. And then it has all of these green kind of waves. That almost looks like the little decorative plants that you would put in yeah. the, the fish tank. Seaweed and fish bubbles. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now the number three fabric will go everywhere the blue is on this quilt. I just think this is so much fun. Now we've put together an image for you so that you can see how great the fish look. It's, it's almost like if you had a wall with fish tanks in it, this is what this looks like. It's like all these little pockets of little fish in the fish tank. Absolutely. It's just so much fun. Bordered by bubbles and and plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like the way that one turned out. Yeah, That's gorgeous. it's really, really, really pretty. So let's get the kit information on this one. It is 8022625. It is called Glimmering Sea. And once again, it is the Sweet Times pattern, super easy pattern from the book Easy Peasy. Now this one is called Brick Street. And uh, when I first designed this, I designed it to be the fastest one in the book. And uh, whenever I came into the office and I was looking for a name, and uh, Jessica said, well, name it Brick Street after Tyler, Texas, because we have this Brick Street area. And it kind of looks like that because the bricks are turned every which way in the street. So let's put that up on the table. Now, this is absolutely gorgeous fabric, and I cannot yes. wait to sh show you that and oh. the image. Now, let me show you how easy this block is. So you're going to do strip piecing. We're always telling you. Now we start off with strip piecing and we have a, a wider strip and a couple of smaller strips here. And you sew those long pieces together yeah. and then you go cut and your block is finished. Hey, Isn't that so cool? fast. Now the second block is equally as easy. So let's just move this over here and we're going to make the second block so this one was made with one and two this one's made with three and two and it's the exact same block done with long strips and then when you cut that this is your block it just gets turned so every row is going this way and that way wow and this way and that way super super simple that is really easy we have so many great easy patterns we I, do. I love the stars out of the books too. So these are the really simple ones out of mm -hmm. each book. Love that. And that's always our mission and goal because we know if you get one of our books, there's going to come a time when somebody comes in and says, Mom, Susie Q is having a baby <laughs> and I would and I would like for you to make a quilt for the shower. It's Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> And it just happens to be Wednesday. <laughs> but you can do one of these super fast. So we want you to know what all of the super fast ones are. Yep. So fast and fun is also a great one because just like we were talking about on the last book, mm -hmm. this one also has eight patterns that have no half square triangles. Sometimes we do things deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> but we really did want to keep all of them super simple. Mm -hmm. It was during a period of time that everybody was looking for great patterns mm -hmm. and we just we just did it. Love it. Now let's look at this. Is this gorgeous or what? Now, whenever I saw this fabric, I just went crazy over it. And you know, there's this is going to be our number one fabric, so it'll go here. Now this is the number two fabric. And the interesting thing about this is it almost looks like you're looking through 
a screen it does. out into the countryside. So it's just like if we were sitting on the porch looking through our screen, we could see the, all those colors through the screen. I can feel the autumn breezes now. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> now this is going to be your background for these other two gorgeous fabrics. And oh. then we have this uh, fabric with these leaves. That'll be your number three fabric. And just look at this. Isn't that just... It's so yummy. Oh. It always reminds me of walking through leaves out in the countryside yes. in the crunch, crunch, crunch. crunch. Yeah. Now, let me show you how gorgeous it is oh. whenever, look at this image on the screen. Is that not beautiful? Yes. And I love the two different ones. They're just enough different contrast and colors mm -hmm. that it really does play up all of those fabrics. It is beautiful. And I love it. Now, this one is called Reflections of Autumn. 8022513. It is Brick Street from the book Fast and Fun. Now this is our in a flash pattern from the book Quick as a Wink. And this one we chose as the super easy one from that book because all we have is a nine patch style block, which we're gonna show you how to make that a little bit faster than a nine patch. And then this nice rectangular block here, super easy. So let's check it out. You know, some color combinations are so awesome, and this is one of them. I just love this. It is really gorgeous, and I love, I mean, this purple and all these bright pinks in it's here. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. gorgeous, and look, I have to show this too. I think the oh, backing perfect. that we chose for it is just so much fun. It kind of gives that whimsy mm -hmm. and texture and fun, but it picks up the exact same color. Love that. Well, you know. If you want us to pick your backing for you when oh. you buy a kit, you can select that in the checkout process. Yeah. So be watching for that. That's true. I had, you know, I, I don't always remember to say those things, but that's such a great feature that we offer to everyone to pick a matching backing. And I think it's really helpful. All right, so our In a Flash pattern is from the Quick as a Wink book. And we're gonna step through because I have pieces and parts exactly how we're building our nine patch in quotes because it's not quite a nine patch, but it's faster than a nine patch, as well as our alternate block here. So let's look at these. So the first thing we're gonna do, which is so simple, is we are going to do a strip assembly. And as always, we're just taking our with the fabric strips here and we're cutting them to the size listed in the pattern and then sewing them together along the long edges. Then we're going to come in here and we're going to cut off a part of that. Let me move this over so you can see that it kind of blends in with the background. And you can see how simple that is. We're just cutting that, that little piece off. Now we're going to cut two of these and one of them is going to get rotated. Now, it probably looks a little funny right now because we're missing its good stuff in the middle. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do another strip assembly, and it's basically the same way, except for we're using three strips of mm -hmm. fabric, and we're sewing them together. And then, and it's hiding under here, we are going to slice off another piece. Now, this is going to be the center of our block here. Now, remember I said it's kind of like a... a faux nine patch in yeah. a way. So it's not really nine squares to make this. It's actually, a you know, the rectangle in the square. So it's a whole lot faster than yeah. a standard nine patch. Yeah, less sewing. Less sewing, so mm -hmm. really fast. Now, I'm going to put this over here on the quilt so that you can see how this matches here. Now, don't forget, we always still have our seam allowances on these pieces, so they look just you know, a nooch big. Okay, now let's do the alternate block. So once again, and this is so cool, very simple. We have a strip assembly. Same thing, we have three fabrics sewn together on their long edges. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come in, it's under here somewhere. There, there it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> they like to hide from me. And then we're just gonna slice off a piece here. Now it's a little bit bigger. And this right here becomes the block. Now this is a good place to interject mm -hmm. that this pattern does not lend itself to using directional fabric. Yes. You should probably choose um, a um, 
tossed fabric. And the reason is because this block is going to get turned. It's so Fran's going to show you how that works. Just like this. <laughs> and that's all there is. And this is a darling tossed fabric. Just love it. Mm -hmm. And also, if you do have a directional fabric and you want to check it out, we do have a video explaining how to use all the different directional fabrics. It would be a great thing to review if you have one and you want the perfect pattern for that. Good, good suggestion. All right. So this is darling. I love the, the fabric here and the choices here and the colors are kind of unique and very interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. So we have our focus and that's the number one. As you can see, we've put it in our bigger block here. And then our number two is in our alternate block and on the sides. And that creates our faux nine patch. <laughs> <laughs> and then our number three, this great, great raspberry color that picks up all the raspberries in here on the border and our little box in our I, nine patch. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to desire a bowl of raspberries with uh, cream or Fresh half and half. <laughs> Yeah, so, so this is a super one to pull together. It's super fast and it's a great one. And the fastest one we think from the book, Quick as a Wink. Now let's get the kit information. This kit is called Wild Meadow. It is 8023058. And once again, it is the in a flash pattern from the book, Quick as a Wink. We also are suggesting the alternate pattern as City Lights. Now this one is called Lightning and it is super, super simple. Now all of these have been easy, but we named this one Lightning because it's about that fast to make it. It's great. It's out of the book Easy Does It and you have super simple piecing. All right. So what we're going to do is why don't you hand me the blocker? Oh, of course. Let me, let me crop this out for you because it is so very oh, easy to so do. Simple. So whenever you're making the blocks, you'll put two strips of fabric together, and then you will use your fabric one and two, and you make long strips. You cut this and your block is finished. It's so easy. Isn't that great? It's so amazing how this comes together with all of this movement, with that easy, easy <laughs> block. And you just do the same thing again right over here. Let's see if I can get this one cropped right here. You do exactly the same t thing. Two long strips of fabric, mm -hmm. cut the piece, and your block is oh finished. My goodness. And then I'll show you in the book. This is just great. We have a diagram that shows you exactly how to place the blocks and how you turn them. Yes. So it's it is truly a lightning quilt. So simple, and it just it just has so much movement. I love it. I like it too. And this is this is one that I like to say, I don't have this fabric anymore, but if you wanted to make this for a guy, you get some good looking fabrics like this. Yeah. It's, it's kind of faux camo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we have some great kilt kits on our website. Oh, absolutely. Including this one. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Now this one, we have an image for you and we'll show you that. This is our number one fabric. Isn't oh, that pretty? That's really going to go is. everywhere you see this green. Yeah. And then your number two, which is your background, that really accentuates your one and three. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't have that in the background, it would just kind of mush together. So that's really your resting place for your eye yes. as you, you travel to the next section. Yes, and it's important to make sure that this is light enough so that there's enough contrast to see that movement. Absolutely. And then, so this is the number two that's going to go in the back. And I love this little bit of metallic to give yes. it some light. And then the number three, isn't that gorgeous? It's like lace. Isn't that pretty? Oh. And this one is going to be everywhere the black is. And you know, when you look at this, look how that ties in together. Those, so, those so uh, aquas and the darker yes. kind of, uh, what would you call that? Kind of a mossy Jade, green maybe, or, or mossy green. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just really kind of, pretty color. It has a little green tinge to it, but it's so pretty. Now, the image on the screen shows you how wonderful this turned out. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? It is really, really gorgeous. I love the play of all the colors and textures in this kit, in mm -hmm. this pattern. And like you said, the movement. The, the movement, movement is, is so just important. beautiful. Now, this one is called Resplendent. It's the lightning pattern from Easy Does It, and it's 8023152 for the kit number. The alternate pattern is Jigsaw. You know, you may have noticed that we didn't 
finish all of our books. Do the others not have easy patterns? Oh, they also have really simple patterns, but we have so many books, we couldn't squeeze them all into one video. Well, let us know if you'd like for us to do another video and share the easiest patterns from the rest of our books. Yes, it's Fran Morgan and Donna Robertson. Thanks so much for joining us.